Okay, now see, Jaguar, this is what I'm talking about. Hello, Universe, what's up? It's Brandy 619 and I just want to say I was watching the Armand Wiggins show. I always watch the Armand Wiggins show. I really enjoy his his channel, you know, and he really, um, I know that you, Jaguar and Armand, ain't really seeing eye to eye right now, but I'm, um, he won, okay? But for everybody else, I was watching his video just on some other, and just because that's what I do anytime he, he's live, you know, and he pulled up a video, a Jaguar, he pulled up a video of you, Jaguar, in the drive-thru, you gave a lady a card, one, and mind you, this is coming off of your rent, this is coming off of that low vibration frequency that you're on, talking about everybody's punanas, talking about everybody's ovaries, and everybody's stuff is going to fall off, and da 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 okay, you still all in everybody else's business, except your own you are in this drive through you give this lady a card she says it's declined you say what now then you start blaming everybody else y'all y'all got me mad that's why my card declined let me hold on let me let me find another card then you run the card over to her again the second card and it also declines so then you start saying oh see this is why because i'm too busy out here i don't got time to be worried about no money i i get my money my husband handle my money my husband everything now you don't blame now it's your husband why your card declined okay everybody's fault but yours okay yeah where my other card you find another card you find a third card and for the third time you're like did it take did it pay for it did it pay for it i didn't give you the card i didn't give you the card yeah she said yeah you gave me the card it's declined too now see this is what i this is what i was wanting really you know what i'm saying see when you when you focus on your own stuff okay you have to focus on your own shit before you get out here in these streets worried about somebody else's stuff, all right? Now, you worried about how other people got their money, the things other people have to do to get to where they want it to be, okay? Whether it, it whether it was by using they 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 whether it was by using they coochies, popping they coochies, whether it was uh get, giving a little head, uh, cause cause you the one that told us about Christopher Williams, okay? Whether it was giving a little head for him to get a check, or whether it was for Mary to be laying on her back and busting it wide open, whether it was for Jill to be uh getting all them uh diseases that you say she got. It, it, these are people in position, though. These are people that I'm pretty sure if they swipe their card at the McDonald's to get that McGriddle, it's going to go through. You understand what I'm saying? You so pressed about everybody else and how everybody else got to come up in the game and how everybody else got to get their money. But you should have took a play out of the playbook. Okay? Because what I can tell you, I'm sure that when J-Lo goes through the drive through to get her Starbucks and she swipes her card, it goes through. You know why? She minding her business. She taking care of her money and she damn sure ain't worried about no Diddy or what secrets Diddy she keeping for Diddy. She, she, she moving forward through the drive through with her coffee, with her breakfast. Hi, Mama. Jill Scott. With all that's going on that you say going on with her womb and all of the day and all of the uh, laying it low and spreading it wide that you say she was doing. I'm pretty sure that when she go through that drive through and she swipe her car, she is leaving. Okay. With her hot cake platter and her orange juice. Okay. So this is, uh, I mean, matter of fact, matter of fact, you were so worried about Christopher William, uh, you was so worried about Christopher Williams sucking a weenie to get a check. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you sucking. I'm pretty sure that you're doing all those things to your husband and your money is not in the account. Where your check? Where's your check? Where's your money? Whatever he did, he did because he chose to as a grown person to get where he wanted to get and to get what he needed to get. He figured out a way to get it. He got it. He moved on. Why are you worried about it? You need to worry about why ain't no money in your account after you just got done doing all the same stuff that Christopher Williams and Mary J. Blige and Jill Scott did to get their money, to get their check.
what I was saying, you have got to go deep. You got to worry about yourself. Don't worry about what's going on out there. Okay. When they're ready to tell their stuff, they'll tell it. That's not for you to tell. Okay. You you should you need to be having a conversation with your husband about why it is that you spreading it low, laying it low, and spreading it wide for him, and he ain't got no money on the cards. Okay, because essentially that's what wives do. That's how wives secure the bag. That's how they make sure that them bills is paid. And that the lights ain't getting cut off. I mean, if you're doing it right. I guarantee you this. If I went through the drive through and swipe my card on any account that I share with my husband and my husband's name is on and there ain't nothing in that money, I, I'm definitely getting off that phone. No, actually, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to use the phone at the McDonald's and have a call with him since I'm recording everything, right? Have a conversation with him about why ain't no money on, on none of these accounts that you have control over. And I will be letting him know that I will be waiting right here for him to come with the money so he can pay for my breakfast. Okay. But see, my husband's not going to have me in that kind of situation or that kind of position. Because my man is going to make sure, my husband is going to make sure that I am all the way taken care of. Okay? That's 101. And any grown woman, I don't care married or not, need to know what's going in and out of them accounts. You 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 at the house backing it up, busting it open, uh, and 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 and, and deep throating and doing all the things that 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 married people do. And this and 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 your man, uh, your man got you set up with an IOU. <laughs> your man got you in the in the default. Yo man probably got you out here paying all kinds of uh what's that when they when you gotta pay $35 or something because of uh, uh stuff's bouncing. You gotta do better. And the only way for you to truly, truly do better is for you to start in your home. You out here talking about how you don't worry about money. Well, you need to be worried about money if you're driving around trying to spend it. I could understand you not having the need to worry about money and having the need to not really be worried too much about your finances and letting other people take care of them. If you had a garden outside and if you was raising your own chicken so that you could crack your own eggs, you can go out there and pull up your own spinach out your yard and go in the house and saute it and cook it up for yourself. But that's not what you're doing. You're running around trying to spend money. You got to have money in order to spend money. So the best thing I'm going to say to you is that you might need to start charging, okay, for them people to come up into your, your lives. OK, you might need to start uh, write your book and get it out there on the market. I'm not sure if it's really going to sell because we, we you don't told us everything we really need to know. Which was stuff that we really didn't need to know. That we already knew, you know, in a roundabout way. All these people that's that's egging you on and ruining this her story. Let her tell you how she wants to. Let her tell you how you want to. Y'all need to go on ahead and set her up a go fund her page. So say she don't have so she can get her breakfast air day. Okay? Worried about exposing everybody else. Yet you are being exposed in the process of all of that. Okay? Now, you say you don't got time to be worried about no money. Your husband take care of all the finances, I guess. Um you you yet on the storm interview with Storm, you were talking about how you eat five hundred dollar meals, how you cook. $500 meal. She said, oh, yeah, because you a chef, right? Well, you got to have $500 to prepare a $500 meal or to eat a $500 meal. 
And on today, it didn't look like you even had $5 in any account on any card that you had in your possession on today. Okay? So I'm definitely going to link anybody. Y'all can go over to her page if you want to. Jaguar Ride, I'm going ahead and shoot her that plug. Go on over to her page on Instagram. You can see the video right there. She got on the, the head wrap with the American flag head wrap wrapped around here. And, and uh, you know, and she talking loud and talking, talking reckless. Still. She had to hurry up and jump up off of that live because she didn't know how she was going to pay for that breakfast. Breakfast ain't, ain't, ain't that expensive. Uh, you wasn't at no sit-down restaurant, okay? You wasn't at the Denny's. You wasn't at the IHOP, my love. You was you was at the you was at the drive at the drive through. Okay. That's a problem. You cannot be worried about what's going on in nobody else's household, in nobody else's wit. You cannot be worried, concerned with what's going on with nobody else's pocketbook, but your own. Okay. I don't know if this is a part of the reason why you're upset as well. You know, because your money is your money is funny. You know. Um. You know, maybe you mismanaged funds when you were at the height of your career. You know, I don't know. I'm just speculating. You know, that's what we do, right, Jack? Um, but just going off of that 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 live and not having a couple of dollars to get your breakfast is 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 too much. And 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 it would be it, it might be okay if it was just one card, but two, three. After the second card, I would have been all down up under my seat. I would have been over in my hand rest right there, grabbing all the change out, counting my pennies, counting my coins, okay? I would be in my glove box, scooping out coins. I would be in my little dashboard area, scooping out coins. Okay, I'd be in my backpack, scooping out the coins that's in the bottom of that backpack, but I guarantee you this, I'm going to get my breakfast. See, this is why the the, the elders or some, some ancestors have always said, hey, Always take you a little change, baby, because you never know what may happen. You never know if you may need to make a phone call back then when we had pay phones, right? You never know when you may need to make a phone call. You may never, you never know when you may need to catch the bus. You may never know when you may need to take a cab. You understand what I'm saying, ladies? Let me tell y'all, take heed from this situation right here. When Before you leave the house, I don't care if you're one of them uh, credit, card, credit card people. I don't carry cash. Make sure you always carry a $5 right here. Put you a couple of dollars down off right here so that what happened with Jaguar does not happen to you. Okay. Those are the kind of nuggets and those are the kind of gems that we should be sharing to the people. Not what the next woman or the next man have to do in order to get to where they want it to be. I'm sure that when Mary goes to the to the drive through and she swipes her card, it goes through. So I'm going to say that all that fucking sucking paid off. Okay? Cuz your husband's not taking care of business. So you might want to you might want to see what you can do about that. Um You might want to get that in order. You got to get your house in order. I, I don't see him as being the head in your relationship. I don't see him as being the man who is your covering. You understand what I'm saying? I don't get that vibe. Because if I did, you wouldn't be out here recklessly speaking the way that you're speaking because your husband will be making sure that you... that you represent... Yourself and, 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 and the family and him in a certain kind of way.
Because that definitely was something that I thought about as I was watching him sitting in the back and you kept showing him in the back on the storm, you know, on the storm interviews and you kept showing him in the back, my husband, my husband, and he's sitting back there just letting you recklessly, recklessly, recklessly be reckless. And he's sitting there and, 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 and allowing all of that. I said, okay, he's sitting back there. This feels like, uh, you know, whatever little bit that she does have, hey, let her do all that she wants to do. And, and, and as he, he, like, as he sits back and, and rides the wave. And even, and when he, and when you guys was talking about, um, The sheards and all that I was talking about, you know, in, in, in the church and, and, and what's the, the uh, lady that used to come to the church and sing and all that kind of stuff. And you have turned the camera to him and he went to stand up off of that couch. I kind of picked up a, a energy off of him that I um, made me think, too. That was on the Storm interview, one of the many, but I picked the energy up off of him that quick but I digress I decided not to say anything because okay well whatever you know that's they that's whatever that is that's that's they thing you know what I'm saying they have an understanding but uh <clears throat> yeah I just want to grace and mercy does run out okay you can say you covered all day long but somebody got to cover them bills somebody got to cover breakfast and all of y'all, and see all, and if you got any kind of tea, why wouldn't you? You saying you're writing a book and you saying that you're about to start doing videos and all of this kind of stuff. That's what you should have been putting all of this stuff inside of a book because now I'm eager to see who's going to buy your book when it comes out. You don't gave up all the little bit of tea that you had. It's not a lot of tea. You just talk about what you heard. But you don't gave it all up on free streams. But work on you. This is time for you to work on you. This is not time for you to be exposing uh, nobody, okay? Because I'm going to tell you right now, everything you're talking about is not going to stop not one white PDD white party. It is not going to stop Hollywood from bringing him up to host or have something to say at the next music award. You're not stopping nothing. If your means is to bring down Clive Davis, you why are you wasting your time? Clive Davis is almost dead. He should he should be due to die any day now. I mean that's silly. Focus on your house. Focus on what's going on in your home. Because that where you couldn't even get your breakfast after three swiped cards is a very bad look. That's not okay. That's what you need to be worried about. And I kind of feel like had you come off a little bit more humble and a little calmer on a different frequency, that probably would have never even happened. But God is saying, hey man, God is showing the world. He is showing us what we should be doing. We should be focusing on what we can do, what we, how we can change, what we need to change about ourselves in order to make this place better. Okay. So it's time for you to start focusing on how to secure the bag. Secure means get the bag, keep the bag. Okay. manage the bag i don't want to see you out here making no more videos as a matter of fact i don't even want to see you going live no more all right set your camera up inside your house like i'm doing right now so y'all you can edit your shit because bloopers okay worry about self first Self first. All right. Again, humble yourself. Okay. Approach these things with gentleness, compassion, understanding, love. 
It's that energy that you're putting out ain't going to do nothing but come back full circle. We already starting to see it come back full circle. And hopefully the lady that, um, what was her name? Hashtag Darcel. I did see that. Hopefully you can learn something from her. She can get out here and speak the truth and talk about and tell her story and, and even say, yes, Jaguar is right. She is on point about a lot of stuff, but she don't have to, she's the way that she's bringing that energy into the mix is going to yield a, a, a harvest of righteousness is going to yield plentiful, bountiful, good fruit. Okay. Jaguar, you need to make them pay. All the people that want to hear it, you need to make them pay. Okay? Because I actually, I'm tired. I want to see something else coming down my timeline at this point. Okay? I don't want to see pictures of you coming down my timeline. That's why I don't post pictures of you when I make videos of speaking to you. Because I, I don't want to see you like that anymore. Okay? Unless you have real vital information to share, like uh, how to manage your money. That would be a great topic. Tell the people about that experience with the decline of the cards and how that opened your eyes up to you needing to be more hands-on with your coin. You needing to pay more attention to what's going on in your home, okay? That makes for good TV. That makes for good telling your truth, okay? Let's talk about you, all right? So moving forward again, let me remind you that grace and mercy does wear out. And what happens when it wears out? Stuff like that happens, okay? So... Go on ahead and bring it down, sis, okay? Enjoy your night.